Welcome to What Away with Washers, where we tried to model a washer as many ways as possible using Creo Parametric. On this What Away with Washers, we'll look at sheet metal options. We're going to look at three different methods to create sheet metal washers. A planar option is a very common way to make a first wall. When we're dealing with sheet metal, everything needs a common thickness. The thickness we'll use is 0.5, and that's the height of the washer. We'll sketch the shape on the top plane, and I'm going to capture the outer diameter of 2, with a half inch thickness, and we have a sheet metal part. This is our first wall, and typically this first part would be larger than just this small circle. An extruded cut is a great way to finish off the geometry. Notice by default it's set to through all. There's also options to make it normal to surface or normal to different surfaces. Another option to create that hole would have been the hole tool. In our next version of sheet metal options, we'll look at extrude. For the extrude tool, we'll sketch the cross section and the wall thickness of 0.5 will follow the sketch. The depth is given and that would be the thickness of the washer between the two parallel circular surfaces. If we use this for the outside diameter, we would set it to be a 2. Alternately, it could represent the inside diameter with a diameter of 1. Here, the depth 0.5 is the thickness of the washer itself, where the thickness of the sheet metal is represented as the wall thickness around the outside of the washer. So this extrude tool is representing taking material and wrapping it around to make this cylindrical shape. We'll do something similar for the revolve. For the revolve, we just need to sketch the path. We'll give it the thickness, that's the material that's going to follow the path. I'll create the sketch this time on the front plane. We do need a center line for the axis of revolution. And the path defines the revolve, is that thickness of 0.5. And here we'll do the inner diameter of 1. And we'll add the wall thickness to the outside of our sketch. Again, in this version of the revolve, we've got the sheet metal material spinning around a center line, but it's following the inside path of this revolve. So that demonstrates three different ways to create your first wall in a sheet metal tool using the planar tool, the extrude tool, and the revolve tool. I hope you've enjoyed getting to know some of the features of Creo with this What Away With Washers video sequence. Please let me know if you come up with other exciting ways to create a washer. Remember that these methods are not the best methods, but hopefully the simple geometry inspired you to learn more about some of Creo's very powerful tools. Thank you.